What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm George, we got Steven here. Yes. And we're gonna be playing the back nine. We already played the front nine as a little vlog, but we're doing the back nine. It's gonna be a course vlog with me, but plus Steven with a twist. I'm gonna hopefully coach him around this nine. His handicap is, don't know what it is, but he shoots what, between 85, 90? Yeah. It's like kind of average. You can yeah. shoot in the 70s, but 85, 90. So the goal here, I'm gonna try to coach you. We're gonna try to get you shooting under 45, that's the goal, but I think I can get you at 40 using my advice, hopefully. No, I, I hopefully. think you could, I think you could, honestly, because whenever I have someone coaching me, I always play better. I don't know why that is, but just a little word of advice on the course and I play really good. Hey man, let's go. So here we go, hole 10, par five, and as you can tell, I mean, just really beautiful, my goodness. Yeah. So par five, Steven. Can we start us off? Let's get it going. All right. I mean, just absolute stripe show up the left, right where you want to be. I took a light swing to that, George. I mean, that's, Playing in Sparta, love it. Yeah. Should be good, shouldn't it? Uh, hang it, it's going right. I think we got a lot more room right than we think, Steve. Oh yeah. That's good. It's either the bunker, right rough somewhere. I mean, it is the first hole flare. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah. I'm feeling good. My first shot. First shot of the day is in the fairway. And to the format, basically his, his tee shots are pretty good. So I'm gonna be giving him numbers, distances into the greens mm -hmm. and where I think he should aim them and then reading the greens. Reading the greens is the big one. That's what helps me the most. All right. Let's do it. Yeah, we got a fun one today. Steven Castaneda, if you don't follow him or subscribe to his channel, check him out. It'll, the link will be in the description. Kind of new to golf. His channel is awesome. His channel is more fun golf, challenge, some real golf in there as well. But he's new, he's just getting into it, but he's pretty good. So what today is, I thought would be fun was just get him on the channel, hang out, but kind of try to coach him to get him, to see if I can help him actually. Uh, so that's what today's about, Steven. Let's do this. All right, so Steven's got 270, the green's up there. His three wood is his best club, so we're gonna hit him, have him hit three wood, try to get up there about a 56 degree yardage away and uh, dial it in from there. Oh, I, I, miss you just I mean, he towed it, but you know the miss? That's good, it's gonna land right over that bunker. Let's go. Obviously not the drive that I wanted, but I'm not in the bunker. We got 240 to the pin, so definitely, definitely reachable. Yeah, actually this lies way worse than I thought. We're gonna try to gouge this hybrid out, hopefully, Tumble it up there. I got 235 to the front, so I think if I hit it good, I can get there. I mean, that's, that was like best case scenario. As you can see, this divot is massive. Just had to, if you're in the thick rough and you want to hit hybrid, the key is just kind of get a little steep with it, hit down, and just hope. EPC Don Zante Bay, one of the best, it is the number one course in Mexico. I think I think we pronounce it right. I'll go TPC Danzante Bay. Anyway, yeah, I forgot to mention it, but the front nine are you, you got you guys have already seen it probably. If not, that's where we are. We're in Laredo, Mexico. The place is legit. The pin is on a little shelf, so we're gonna hit the half steep at the 56. Uh -huh. Try to play it a little bit short and right, let it bounce up there, and if it comes up eight to ten feet short, that's still that's still fine. Oh, nip sauce too. Oh, how about that? That was interesting. I the, hit it a little too hard. A little too hard? Yeah, I hit that water and just skipped off. Oh, yeah, I forget. That's my bad. No, that's, no, no. A, that's all me. That's, no, no. that's Coach's fault. No, it's fine. it's fine. They water the greens. I totally forgot that. And when the greens are watered, it's going to cause the ball to skip instead of like stopping. So that first bounce is going to skip more than usual. So, yikes. Missed my spot by about two inches. Missed my spot by about two inches. It landed here. If it lands there, it probably skips up to about four feet. Uh, there's Steve's ball, just over, as you can see. Barely the top of this ball. Ooh, Ooh. Nice. Good shot, good shot. Makeable par. Oh. This snapped a little more than I thought. All right, so here we go. If he starts it just outside right, about a half a cup out on the right, mm -hmm. is perfect. Can I push a little bit? Hmm, that's my fault. No, Bogey on first, whatever. We got another beautiful hole. I mean, look at this. So par four, hole 11. I think you just kind of send it over those, uh, those bushes right in front of us. I mean, the guy listens right over with a slight draw. Should be perfect. Good shot. Thank you. Should be pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, really good. We'll see. Felt nice. Just at that bunker at the left should be good. Probably in it, but who knows. 
Got 150 to the, or 149 to this left pin. So we're gonna go his 150 club, 155 club, aim about 20 feet right, and just try to get it in the center of the screen and give himself a good look at birdie. Oh, look at, let's go. 20 feet right, draw it in there. Right on the front of the green. Hey, my guy, hey, that's what we're talking about. After that last hole bogey, backs up strong, so that's what I like to see. Yeah. 112, there's the pin. Right there, I'm going with the sandwich. Play about a 110 shot. Look how lush these fairways are. They're past Palom. Um, I'll talk about that more on the green. Get up just a little bit. Big hop to the left. Yep, Jeez, spin. George. Nice. Your wedge game is. I actually did like. It felt good. Up. I, I in my mind I was like, I'm gonna hit a 110 shot. It's gonna land 110. Yeah. Skip up there, then spin back, and it literally did just that. Yeah, that was yes. beautiful. Break for the programming. So explain to the people what like what is your channel? I've kind of explained a little bit. What what would you describe your channel as? Uh, it, it's probably everything that uh, a non golfer would enjoy. <laughs> that's the best way I can put it. Any challenges? That's all me. All right. So we got Stevens. A good shot here, just off the green. A lot of people would choose like a a wedge or something because it's not on the green, but putter is the more consistent and the more reliable play. So that's what we got. Putter, uphill, actually a pretty good look at birdie. This is a tough hole, so that's a win. And there's my shot um, right there. All right, so this one is gonna be pretty slow, probably going left to right, just a hair, but up the hill. Uh, I, I destroyed that I mean, he destroyed it. He gave it the uphill push. I gave her a run. <laughs> wow. I'm 0 for 2 in coaching here on the greens. Right. Hey, you're, all, you're on your own. Four par, I think straight. Actually, just straight at it. My guy, yes. That that yeah, that counts. That counts. COVID uh, rules. Nice little hey. par. Thank you, George. <laughs> hey, like that's all you. So here we go. We are playing COVID rules, as you can see. Um, the, the, the pins or the cups are flipped upside down, so that ball, normal day, would have gone in. Nice par. Let's go. Thank you. And it stayed there. Best putt I've hit all week, for yeah, sure. That was a good putt. But as you guys know, the key is staying patient. And that's what I'm going to do here. Par for me. Remains an even par. Should be two under, but we won't talk about that. Steven made a great par. He's one over. Well ahead of his breaking 45 goal, which is definitely, definitely in range. So as we head to the 12th, it is a par five. Another opportunity for birdie. <sighs> I need it. All right, hole 12, par five. There's a little blue chair way in the background that's kind of right at the center of this fairway that I'm going to try to start my cut at peel it off and just end up right center of the fairway. Just want to explore all of Mexico, I guess. Stay. Oh. Do as I say, not as I do here, Steve. So there's that bunker on the right center. I think you just start your draw right at that bunker and send it. Money. I mean, the, see, are you giving lessons or? That, that's the key. When you tell me what to do, it helps me out. Hey, so are you giving me driving lessons? Because that's what I want. I want what you you have right now. You're the one that changed my driver. It's on you. Why can't it work on me? <laughs> but yeah, well, we're about to review the tape, and um, we're gonna hopefully next drive I hit will be a little better than what you guys just saw. Take a good target, just right at that pin, okay. and just see your shot and trust it. Oh no. Hey, dead straight. The key here. At Resort Golf is just keep it in the fairway, and you did that. I did that. <laughs> hey, it's gonna be a tough up and down, but we got about 270. The pin right up there. I mean, oh, go, 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 go. Oh, it's gonna be close, I think. Just part of the green. That was really, really nice. All right, here we go. 150. We're gonna tell you to start this uh, eight iron right at the pin and play your slight, slight draw to end up hopefully you know 15, 20 feet left and have yourself a good look at birdie. I like that on this hole. I mean, just an absolute stripe show with this eight iron. For fun. For bird. Hey. Hey. My guy. That's key. Giving yourself birdie putts is key. I mean, so here's the, he, he has a good point. This is um, for all golfers, but. For higher handicappers or um, new golfers or whatever recreational golfers mm -hmm. like yourself, you're good. You can break 80. But having yourself or giving yourself birdie putts on every hole or as many holes as possible is key. It doesn't matter how long the putt is, but if you can give yourself birdie putts, that's a win, in my yeah. opinion, for someone of your skill level. Yeah, I agree with that. 100%. That's all we got. I'm going to try to land this. The thing's a little shelf. I'm going to try to land it just on top of. It's about 15, 20 feet short of that pin and let it roll back there. Wow. 
good look at birdie a little left to righter um you saw mine kind of bounce in there and go to the right or this way so that's which way this thing's moving pretty flat speed looks good folks oh 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 i went for it george hey great putt thank you great putt all right we'll let you go and clean this thing up nice good par hey back to back pars yeah I'm, like, on a, I'm on a grind shoot man i'm only, I'm only one up on you i need, <laughs> I need to start grinding steven how dude got people watching how does that not go right tell me I, i'd love to know the good news is the last two putts i've hit were exactly where i wanted to the bad news they didn't go in like god tell how did that not break right someone out there can someone just let me know because I'm a little perturbed. But nonetheless, we're even par as we head to the 13th hole, par three. Steven's one over, playing well. So, I mean, heck, it was, uh, let's see if he can break his record. Now it's like a match. You know, as I said before, you gotta stay patient. And that's all, I, that's all you can do is hit good putts. And if it goes in, it goes in. If it doesn't, just move on. So that's what we're doing, Steven. We're moving on. Yeah. Holy cow, look at this. 185, good par three. Pins in the front, so that is uh, the, easy, the easier of the pin placements. So that is good. Go with a little seven iron, start my tight little draw just right of it. Oh, George, that is coming. Oh, Micah. George. George. Oh, George. We had Mike over there. We're going to have to pan over. So we had these guys over here watching. I had a little nerves. I don't know if they were watching to hope I had a good one or bad one, but I had some pressure on me. And I. I was hoping you had a good one. Uh, Micah, Micah was. Matt, he wasn't. Probably not. Anyway, Steve. Hi, Thank, thanks, thanks, Micah. All right, we got Steve here, 180. We're gonna, he's got a six iron, and he's been playing this tight little draw, so he's going to pick a spot about 15 feet right of this pin and play his draw in there and just be aggressive because he's swinging good with his irons. Steve, it gets up a little bit. I think oh. that's, this is good. People. Hey, Steve. Two putts of birdie on this hole? You can't ask for anything better. I mean, you can't. Go off. I tell you what, the irons, over the last few weeks, you, you guys know I'm starting to trend in the right direction. My iron play has been drastically better than it's been uh, than it was a couple months ago. So shout out to G3 for getting me kind of right and on the right direction. Because now I'm hitting more good iron shots in a round than bad. We're, you know, the last few months, honestly, I would hit a few good ones here there, but for the most part, it wasn't very good. So very pleased that seven iron was a tight draw right Kind of where I was trying to hit it, so and I got a good look at birdie because of that. Here's what we're working with: downhill. The ocean's that way, so everything has a tendency to break towards the ocean. But it looks like it should go left. So, yeah. honestly, what are you thinking? pretty straight. Let's <laughs> see what happens. They pulled it a little bit, but speed was really good. Good par. Good hey, par. I like this, George. Yeah. So I mean, the re it might have gone a hair left, but for the most part. It didn't break as much left because the grain was pulling to the right. Nice. What'd I say? What a putt. Hey, you just gotta trust it. Steven gave me a little pep dog saying, hey, you got this one. Guys, that was big for the confidence. It had another one of those weird putts where it looks like it breaks a decent amount right to left, but you got the ocean there that the grain's gonna be pull pulling towards, which is gonna straighten it up a little bit. And so I was like, you know what? We're trusting just outside right and hitting it. Whatever happens, happens. Sure enough, went in. Thank goodness. So I'm one under through four. Um, Steven, one over playing Amazing some golf. good golf. All right, hole 13 is a good par four. 451 into the wind. Well, who knows? It might be downwind when I hit. It's kind of swirling back here. Good par four, super narrow fairway. The goal, there's a bunker out there that I'm going to try to start my fade just right of that and squeeze it into the center of the fairway. There we go, wow. Steven. Wow, dude. That's what we, I needed that one. I mean, every, let's be real, I need everyone like that, but still, I needed that one. That was amazing. <laughs> I mean, it caught a little toey, but that's, I mean, that's still gonna be almost in the fairway. All uh, right, just the right rough. All right, so here we go, this is Steve's shot. He's got 215 in the wind. There's a little house that's in the left center of this green. The left side of that, Steve's your start line. Got just it. try to get this thing on the left side um, of the green, and that's a win. I mean, the guy just listens. So he pulled it a little bit, but that is exactly where you want to be putting from or chipping from, wherever it ends up. I like that. I gave him that target because the left of the screen is, honestly, as you can see, a lot of room to chip. And that's where, he, that's where he's at. Instead of right, 
It gets kind of dicey though. There's a bunker, so well right. done. And with the three wood, that's three really wood. good. I like it. All right, we got 155. Left, right, kind of down, kind of in. But we're just gonna play a 155 shot with my nine iron. Go right at it. Hit my draw, and hopefully the wind kind of keep it right in line with the pin. Kind of took, I mean, about 15 feet, 20 feet right of the pin. Still good. With, so we're going to get get him hitting his 56, land up there, and let the green and grain take it the rest of the way. Probably land about 10 ish, probably 10 feet on the green, and let it run out from there. Really good. I mean, you guys on fire, people. Three pars in a row. I mean, that might be four pars in a row. I don't even know. Four? That's insane. 11, I, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, those lines. Four pars in a row? Yeah. Your um, lines is what helps me. I'm annoying because I think I've given him some better reads than I've given myself. My man Steven's one over through the 14th hole here, which is our fifth hole, and I am one under. So, still playing solid. Got four holes left to make a couple birdies. There are definitely some birdieable holes, and... Guys, you're going to have to stick around to hole 17 because it is, I'd say, the, the most beautiful hole that I've ever played. It, it's the best hole I've ever played, hands down. Yeah, so just stay tuned for 17. But that's not, that's neither here nor there. First up is 15. <laughs> All right, as you can see, 15, dead straight, uphill, par 4. Into the wind, it's like 320 or 330, but it's playing like an extra 50 with the wind and uphill. So just kind of send driver up the left. Oh, no. Oh, I just got no. so lucky, I that, think. That wind hit it hard, didn't it? I just got so lucky. That was the worst drive of the day. All right, there's a uh, lone cactus up there, kind of above that cart. Just, yeah. just start. That's your start target. Just look at that. Hit your tight little draw. Just send it. Pull fade, but that is going to end up right in the middle of the fairway. So that is still a really good drive. I'll take that. We have 155 yards here, but it is adjusted to at least 165, um, 170 with this wind uphill. So honestly. 165, 170 club is perfect. Whatever that is, seven iron, I think. That'd be my seven. Yep, just a hair right of this pin and that same little tight draw you've been playing. Go. Just a little bit. That wind picked up right as he hit. Oh, good. We're good. That's a green. Hot. Greenery. <laughs> good shot. I, I thought that was going to catch the wind and stay up there. It didn't, though. No. It, it, uh, it went right over that bunker. We floated with absolute disaster. I mean, it is not good up there. But there we go, 115, or 110 to the pin, playing about 115, 120 with this wind and uphill. Good lie, though. Sit. Oh, no, wind hit it, wind hit it. Okay, it did. I think we're all agreeing, about 15, 20 feet left. Yeah, that was just a nice little run of the mill sand wedge, and honestly, having to putt a birdie after that drive, that is the real win. Yeah, so here's a view from up here. I mean, it's really cool, the contrast between the uh, desert or mountainy kind of things. Blue sky, green grass. And here we go. Two really good shots. There's mine, Steven, right there. It looks pretty. Uphill, probably need to start it like right in here. <gasps> oh, Ooh, what a putt. I, good putt. Wow, that thing hammered to the right. Yeah. Good bar. Just a tad bit out, outside the left edge. Just solid as a rock. <laughs> Another. I, I, this is the best hey. golf I've ever played. I mean, it can't be all me, but I, I will say, so most of the time, the reason, you know, 75, 80, 90 shooters shoot the way they do is they don't really focus on targets. They just kind of get up there and swing it. Well, what I'm doing is really getting Steven focused on a specific target and swinging. And it just kind of frees him up a little bit, I guess. And then on the putting greens, I, I, there's that little bit of confidence that he's got a good read. Um, not to say that I'm always right, but I've given him some pretty good lines yeah. today. So I think the, the reading and the targeting really is helping him out today. Right over that cacti, is that, is that what you like? I like that. Isn't that what we did that one time? Yeah, from, uh, we were up a little farther though. Uh -huh. I'm go just a little farther right there. That'll do right there. Yep. A hair, a hair farther right than I'd like, but... It's, um, that's fairway. All right, here on the 16th hole, Steve, just play your draw just right of that cactus, or kind of just right of that cactus you see, and just make your smooth swing. You don't need to rip it or anything. Okay. 
just like that. I mean, literally right over that cactus. <laughs> Pure. That'll play. Yep, that will. We drive again uphill a lot into the wind. So it's got 113, but we're going to play it. Well, it's 113 adjusted. Mm -hmm. We're playing this at least 120. It's 106. We'll give it up 15. So 121, 120. But yeah, pick a little spot about 10, 15 feet right of that pin. Play your tight little draw. It should be perfect. Yeah, I have my favorite club in my hand as well. All right, love it. It's a hair right. It's not drawing, but I think I think it'll be okay. We putting? I, I don't know. I'm not maybe. We'll see. <laughs> I guess we'll see. All right. So here's the deal. I got 81 yards, but playing probably close to 90 with this wind and uphill. We're going chippy 54 because if I hit a full lob wedge, it's just going to be out of control with the spin and the slice. So we're going 54. Oh, Steven, that's per I just didn't hit it. Like. Hi. I hit such a cute little shot if it was like 70 yards. I know it was the line, everything was perfect, just just didn't hit it. Yeah, I don't know what that was. I don't know if that's a classic case of I was not I have no clue what I was doing there because I just took it back and like as soon as I hit it, I was like, Where's the power, George? Yeah, as you can see here, just what are you doing? Right in line, but Steven, another another putt, another putt at Birdie. This we're this is what we're working with. Jeez, George. I, th I thought I was gonna chip that one. I had a weird feeling that I might chip it in. Man, I want a birdie here. Steve, I want a birdie. I'll have to take part of the... Look how positive he is. He makes me feel good about my chip. That was pretty standard, but it makes me feel good that it looked that good. To an huh. average golfer, I think that's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, it really does pump me up. I need that. So here we go. A little uphill right to left. Just pick you a good spot about, I don't know, cup out, maybe a hair more. Okay. Just trust it. I keep pushing him so far past the hole. That's Perfect read. Hey, good stroke. Just a little bit firm. There we go. Just outside left. Just commit to it. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Parts. I'm loving hey. this. This is the most parts I've ever made in one round. <laughs> there, hey, there we go. We can end the video there. <laughs> Test, the testimonial is there. It's the most parts he's ever made in a round. And we have two holes left. So, Steven, one over. I'm still hanging in at one under. Not... Not the best, but I'm hitting a lot of good shots. He's playing really solid. And the course, tough to beat, but here comes 17. Just wait till you see this. And here we go, here's 17. Holy wow. Island green, we got miles and miles and miles of ocean. You know, cool cactus here. But yeah, this is what we're working with. Island green, into the wind, elevated. It has adjusted about 150, but honestly, this wind is swirling. I'd play about a 148 shot, 145. Okay. Smooth, probably eight iron, honestly. You've hit that shot good today. I'm gonna hit an eight. That's one. Oh, Steven. Be right, go, sit, bite, be right. I have no idea what he needs to do. Hey, Nothing. on the green, let's go. Dude, that's the best shot I've hit on this hole yet. Let's go. Just gonna hit a 150 yard shot with an iron, 155, and just, just hope, honestly. Hugged it a hair, but I think I should be putting. I believe, like the wind. That looks really good. It should be on the green. Oh boy, not a great shot there. Tugged it. I just hope my ball's in play. I hope it's not in the ocean. But I thought, honestly, it didn't hit that bad of a shot. Like as far as like going off the world bad. I thought I was gonna be on the, the far left side of the green, have a putt at birdie on this tough hole. But I guess the wind stopped up here by the green. I don't know. We're gonna go take a look. Hopefully, hopefully I can find this ball. Yeah. So I mean, guys, what am I doing? There's the pin. I thought, honestly, I thought I was gonna land right here and just be, you know, putting for birdie. Kind of like my man, Steven. But I guess there's no wind down here at the bottom of this hill, I guess, or maybe doing the opposite thing because there's no way that ball would have flown 100 and whatever, 155 yards. Anyway, I got, <laughs> this is not looking good. Very little chance of actually getting this thing up and down. Let's be real. All right, we're back in play. That's all I was trying to do. I was trying to get it on the green and have myself a putt at par. All right, here we go. Steven, a good look at birdie. About, I'd say eight inches, maybe a foot to the left. Died in there. Oh, do it. Steve. Oh, right in the center. That's the best part hey, of the day. Good par. Another, uh, you were on one heck of a par streak. My goodness. Yeah.
Right in the heart. Wow. Are you kidding? That was amazing up and down. Let's go, Steven. How is your putting so dialed all the time? I don't know what I was about ready to do after that tee shot because I thought I hit a, uh, not a great shot, but I'd be putting for birdie. Then I heard it land not on the green. I was like, oh boy. And I only had two stroke lead on Steven, so I was like, great. If he, he hits it going here, Anyway, I had a lot of emotions going through my mind, but this is a hole 17, one of the prettiest holes I've ever played. I made par, Steven almost made birdie, he made par. One over, still one under, got 18 to go. Hole 18, that is. <sighs> Much better spirits now than I was about five minutes ago, so see you on the 18th tee. So this is the 18th hole, our ninth of the day. There's the resort in the background. Supposedly there's a fairway over there. I'm not sure, it looks like the line is to start it at the left side of that hotel and just bomb it. Because I think you can't quite get to those far right bunkers. You want to go first? Uh, sure. <laughs> oh, another Blastoise to the right. I have no clue where that's going. The wind's catching it back to the left. Good. Holy cow, that is so deceiving. Like, I thought for sure you could hit it, like, over those bunkers and off the mountain, but I'm fine. Oh no. No, no. no, 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 no. We've come too far. Hey, hey. It's down. Yeah, visually, this hole is pretty intimidating. I did not hit my best drive there. I kind of blocked it a little bit, but not, not a whole lot. My end goal was honestly just, I know I said the left of the hotel, but my end goal was to be about 10 yards, five yards left of, the, of that bunker you saw. And it ended up just in line with it. So I thought I was going to be in the bunker, but way short of it. So I guess obviously way longer to it than I thought. All that to say, we're gonna have a shot into the screen to hopefully make a birdie. My goodness, only one birdie today. But you know what? Every hole's been <laughs> every hole's been a birdie with all these views we've get we've got to see. That was lame. All right, here's the ball. Gonna give him cart path. We might give him a little leniency here and have him drop on the left side of the path because those rocks look <laughs> way less dangerous than those. We don't want to break his clubs. Still, however, not great as you can see um, the green up there. So we're just gonna have to drop it and. For the best. Yep. Balls in play. Perfect. So we're just gonna honestly just have him chip it out that way and try to make part of the old fashioned way. Okay. Just like that. Nice and clean. Good clean on that. that is a good shot for me. Wow, that was really good too. Right up there. Hey, birdie opportunity still on the table. Hey, you hold that out, you make you make one heck of a birdie. Alright, so I have 215 yards downhill, playing about 200, downwind, fly or lie. Gonna get good, just gonna hit eight iron. Gonna honestly try to play about a 175 shot, and if it comes up, you know, 20, 30 feet short, that's fine. By the looks of it, long doesn't look any good. So eight iron. We are putting. We do have quite a ways to pin, but yes, we are putting. We're gonna go with a 95 yard shot since it is a little downwind. What is that? 50 degree? 52? 54? I was getting to 56. Oh, ah, close. Okay. I, I was getting there. <laughs> yeah, 56. Love it. Just a hey, pick a little spot, about 10 feet right of that pin. Play your draw. Got it. Just make this birdie. Six. Why did oh, I no. do that? Oh, bite, bite, bite. Why did I do that? Hi. Hi, carumbas. Final hole, and I'm just kind of falling apart. Hey, that was a good shot. You just kind of give it a little more muster than you need to. So here we go, not the easiest putt to end on. And obviously someone's having a good time up there. Big old swinger, played up there, let it feed down, hopefully, hopefully make this. Not bad. What a not bad. Whatever, I don't know. All right, Steven, pick, there's his ball. Pick you a spot somewhere right there, just commit to it. See it trickling in. Okay. Get this walk off par. No. Oh, good putt. Good putt. Oh. Good putt. What am I? In good chip. Good chip's what I meant. Yeah. Really good. I mean, that's what you do when you're out of position. You just got to put yourself back in. And by the looks of it, about six, eight feet, pretty straight back up the hill. To finish with a bogey in a really, really good round. Looks like just right edge and firm. Just like, I mean, the confidence is exuding from Steven. Two over par, 
38. Are you kidding me? That is the best round I've ever played. <laughs> best round he's ever played. We beat his, like, handicap by seven strokes. 45 was our goal. Yeah. I mean. You can't beat that, George. It was all on you. I'm let's go. Win. Yes, sir. Wow. Okay. Under par. I wish I would have gone a little bit lower, but that's not, it was not about me today. It was about my man, Steven. Yeah. Two over? Dude, that was sick. He, I gave him a lesson about a month ago, worked on some things. He was, I mean, not a bad golfer, but he, these big old slices and these big old, big old pulls. Yeah. And that was just on a driving range, not an actual course. But we take him out to like a, a legit golf course, two over. That it really was incredible. And um, honestly, had a lot of fun. Had more fun coaching him, coaching him than myself shooting one under. But anyway, hope you, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And TPC Dan Zante Bay. Best course I've played. I, I can say that. I mean, incredible. Yeah. The views are unreal. Uh, the company's been pretty good, so. Till next time, subscribe to the channel if you don't already. Hopefully you'll enjoy this video. Like it. See y'all. Hey, Steven. Thanks, man. There yeah, he is. Yeah, there, there he is. You're the legend. <laughs> oh, come on. See y'all.